Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Big energy this morning because it's a brand new month. It's not just a new week. It is a brand new month. We got big energy this morning. How you doing this morning? How excited are you for August? July flew by. All of a sudden, it's like July and August have very different feels, don't they? Like they're just, they're, the vibe in July and August are very different. Here we are, August 1st. It is both a new week and a new month. Are you kidding me? There was no other song that we could play to get this, this party started today other than Big Energy. I don't have it up very loud. So if you can't hear it, I apologize. I'm trying not to wake up my entire house. We got a little energized live. But the best part of this cup is this. It's got a little Mickey head on it. How are you feeling today? How are you? Are you ready for August? Oh my gosh. I have, listen, you know, you already know. When I come with notes, I have come to Energize Life with notes. Get ready, okay? Get ready. Who's up and walking around? Hi, lady. Good morning. All right, let's make some energize. Although, you know, I had my first thing this morning. So here's my here's my routine for those of you that are that are, are doing first thing. And if you haven't gotten this in your life, listen. I can. I'm imploring you. I'm imploring you. Get this in your life right now. It is it is a game changer. And the long term effects of this. Mind blowing. Speaking of brain health, mind blowing. I want to live to be 150, and I want to live to be 150 still doing this. That means I got to take care of my brain, and this is helping me do that. You need to get this in your life right now. So I get up at 5 a.m. I come right into the kitchen, and I take my first thing right away. Then I go shower, get ready, um, I listen to personal development while I'm getting ready. It's so interesting to me when people go, I don't have time to listen to personal development. I'm like, what are you doing in the bathroom? What are you doing? Like, I literally, I don't understand it. I go, take my shower, and as soon as I get out, I press play on um, this morning. I, I've been listening to the Growth Day app by, with Brendan Burchard, and it's, ooh, so good. It's so good. So as soon as I get out of the shower, I'm pressing play on personal development. Yes or no in the comments. Yes or no? Do you listen to personal development while you're getting ready in the bathroom? I'm assuming you're getting ready in your bathroom. Yes or no in the comments, do you listen to personal development while you're getting ready in the bathroom? Yes or no? Let me hear it. Let me hear it. You love him, you love Brennan Burchard, I do too. He's really speaking to me. He's really speaking to me right now. And I follow my heart with my personal development. When it when it is connecting with me, I know it is my soul telling me it's what I need. And I go down that way. Yes, yes, this is why you're my people. This is why you're my people. Kels Tri Kelsey Trippy Maine, what does that mean? I don't is that your is that literally your name? Vicki Cranston, why? What are you doing in the bathroom? Why are you not listening to personal development? Jennifer Ann, what are you doing? Why are you not listening to personal development? What are you doing? What are you doing in there? Like, what, is it just silence? Is it literally just silence in your bath? Like, what's happening? Oh my God, I do have to show you. I have to show you all this cup. I love it. Shelly Byers, what are you doing? What are you listening to personal growth? What are you doing with that time that's in the bathroom? <laughs> Asks question and then shames you for not saying yes. <laughs> I don't understand though. I don't understand. <laughs> what do you do? I don't mean to shame you. I don't mean to. That's rude. But like literally, like what are you doing in the bathroom? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. You listen to Energize Live. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. 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 That makes sense, Kyla. Okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. Um, so some, okay. Well, this is like personal development, right? So yes, you are listening to it. If you're in the bathroom and you're getting ready, then um, then yeah. Let's get out the let's get out the let's get out the frother. I'm using it now. I, I said stop waiting. It's just kind of the theme for today. I hadn't been using my Sunrise and Energize frother because it's so pretty. <laughs> I didn't want to get in. I didn't want to get anything on it. Like I wanted to save it. What am I saving it for? What am I saving it for? So that's kind of the theme of today. 
because I want to talk about, um, I'm going to talk about not making a mess. I want to talk about sort of this time that we're in right now. And it's so interesting when you're on a personal growth journey, you're on a very intentional personal growth journey. And I'm very intuitive. That is one of my spiritual giftings. I'm very intuitive and I'm, um, the, the two that um, my giftings are, are intuition and galvanizing, which means rallying people. Uh, I know this because I've taken innumerable personality tests, okay? My gifts are not creativity. My gifts are, are not empathy, interestingly enough. Uh, my gifts are not, oh, I can't remember what the other, other ones were. My gifts are intuition and galvanizing. I'm very, I'm very intuitive, like scary sometimes. Like sometimes my daughters will be like, whoa, like how'd you know that? I'm like, I just know. Like you can never get away with anything around me because I just know I have a very highly developed spidey sense. It is, it's kind of sometimes unnerving even to me. So, where was I going with that? Okay, so I had been feeling this vibe the last month or so, like June and July. I've been feeling this vibe. And then I went to Summit and... Don't lose the pointer. And then I went to Summit and Brendan Burchard spoke and he put into words the vibe I had been feeling. And it was so perfect. So I, that's kind of what I want to talk about today. Let me, um, let me continue to scroll. Um, <laughs> Meg Bays. I'm laughing at that. And also, you know what? That's your choice, girlfriend. <laughs> you chose it. You know how babies are made. That is your choice. <laughs> I don't, nobody feels sorry for you, girl. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Listen, the, the reason why I'm asking about personal development before we talk about this idea of waiting and not waiting in the bathroom. Hold on, I'm going to take a drink of this. Is because I want to know how you're starting your day. And it's okay to, okay, I, I just need some quiet in the morning to, I understand that. There are a lot of apps and a lot of tools that we can use that start our day maybe with a meditation or a quieter um, thought process or whatever it is. My point is how you're starting your day matters. And if you're in the bathroom getting ready and you're not putting something into your brain when you wake up, our brains are hardwired for survival. They're hardwired a little bit bent towards negativity. That's just science. And if we aren't constantly putting into our brains what we want to think and feel and how we want to act and who we want to be, we're, we're doing a disservice to ourselves in those pockets of time that we could really be feeding our brain to help our thoughts, to help our actions, to help us move towards our goals and our dreams. So if we're just going into the bathroom, I'm just using that as an example, and we're not using that time, it's a missed opportunity to feed our brain, to, to almost like armor it against what's gonna happen on the outside world. It, it becomes this, this bubble that I wear around me. And it, it comes back to the question that I get all the time. How do you stay so motivated? How do you stay so upbeat? How do you stay so positive? I'm not motivated, upbeat, and positive. I am. But that's not the point. The point is I have habits. So I'm not relying on feeling like it every day. I'm not relying on motivation. I'm not relying on, let me hope I wake up this morning and be positive. No, I'm waking up with an intention to feed my brain something very purposeful in the morning because that changes everything. So that is where that question comes from. What are you feeding your brain in the morning? Much like I would ask, what are you feeding your body? What are you feeding your brain in the morning? And if it's crap, then how do you expect to create a life on purpose with purpose with vibrancy and health and wealth and purpose and intention if you're putting crap in your brain? Much like how do you expect to have your body function if you're putting crap in your body? Now, you don't, I'm, I'm not saying that you have to have my exact schedule. Please do not get it twisted. That is not what I'm saying at all. I'm encouraging you that if you are waking up and not feeding your brain right away, 
try it for the month of August and just see what happens. Just see what happens. Like give it an exploration. Your body, your brain, that's your best experiment. And what if the month of August you say, okay, every morning when I get up, I'm doing 10 minutes and listening to something super positive, whether it's Brendan Burchard, whether it's a podcast, whether it's an audio, whether it's the Calm app and Daily J. I listened to that for a long time. And right now it's Brendan Burchard that's really speaking to me. Maybe it's the Calm app and you're listening to seven minutes of the Daily J every single morning. I challenge you that for the month of August, try waking up and, and giving yourself that gift of, of 10 minutes of, of purposeful fuel in the morning for your brain and just, just see what happens. Just see what happens. And you know, if that time works for you, you continue. If the time, if the time needs to be a different time, you do something else. However, I, I'm just, ooh, I'm really, I really feel like if you get up in the morning and you put good stuff in your brain right away, you set yourself on pace for a much better day. And if you can string together good days, you're going to string together good weeks. You're going to string together good months. You're going to string together a good life. It starts with what happens in the morning. Cheers. Okay, I have to show you this cup. And then I think we'll go outside. So we went over to the beach club yesterday. Well, we actually went over to the boardwalk over on Disney property. We went over to boardwalk, to the boardwalk shops over there, and then walked around over to the yacht and beach club. And they, there's this big, beautiful circle. You know, we just walked, we went in all the shops and just kind of sat and people watched and looked at the water and all that kind of stuff. And that moment, that moment is exactly what I envisioned for when we moved here. In fact, Jesse said that yesterday when we were over there. She's, she said, this is exactly what you hoped would happen when you moved here in that a random Sunday afternoon, we had gotten up, we'd done our workouts, we I had done some work. And in the middle of the afternoon, we bopped over to the boardwalk and walked around and enjoyed looking at all the shops, enjoyed people watching. We picked up dinner at the beach club. We brought it back home. And it was a couple hours in, on this random setting. It was gorgeous. Sky was so blue, it was super hot, <laughs> but it wasn't very crowded. And it was exactly what I envisioned doing when I moved here, those random moments on a Sunday afternoon. So we did that yesterday and, you know, don't don't get that twisted. That is nothing but a lot of years, a lot of years, a lifetime of hard work to get to those moments and create those moments. I appreciate every one of those moments. They're very surreal to me. It's still um, a little bit uh, hard to believe that this that we live here now and that when we got done at the boardwalk, I got in my car and we drove home <laughs> and we drove 10 minutes back to our house. And it's still hard for me to believe that. And it's exactly what I've worked for. Those moments can seem so mundane, so small, but those are the moments that I've been working for my whole life, my whole life. Just being able to go over to the boardwalk and be in that Disney space on a random Sunday afternoon, just because I can like, hmm, it was the best. So I'm telling you that because we got this cup that my daughter Jessie had to have. <laughs> it's the silliest thing we've ever bought. Okay, are you ready? Are you kidding me? She made me buy this. Okay, she made me buy this. Look at this. I mean, it says the beach, beach clubs are very favorite. We love the beach clubs so much. So it says the beach club on one side, this is our favorite. And then, I mean... I don't look at that. Is that not the cutest thing in the world? With the little, like what? She's like, I am making my shake in this tomorrow. And I mean, the, it is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I, on the other hand, <laughs> so that's Jessie. That's what she bought. I, on the other hand, bought the matte black Disney corksicle. <laughs> this is the difference. Jessie, <laughs> me, this is the difference between us. So that's what, this is what I bought yesterday because I needed a new cup for my first thing. So there you go. Okay, so these are my notes. We're going to take these little notes outside. We're going to see what the sunrise looks like. And we're going to have a little conversation about August. And, oh, every day is 
Really? You can't read it? Sunday. Every day is Sunday. It's so, I just think it's the cutest thing in the world. Okay, so while I'm unplugging and we're walking out to the outside for our last little bit of conversation together, and I'm taking my notes with me and taking my energize with me, what I would love for you to do in the comments is tell me one goal that you have for the next 31 days, okay? August 1st, today's August 1st, today's August 1st. From August 1st to August 31st, one goal that you have for the next 31 days. Put it in the comments, please. And we're gonna go outside. I'll come back and get my planner. Maybe I can get it. I can carry it. I can carry all, I am a mom. I can carry all the things, come on. All right, here we go. One goal that you have for the month of August for the next 31 days. Mm, it's a gorgeous morning. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so first of all, if it's, if it's not specific, I'm gonna call you out on that goal and I'm gonna tell you to get more specific. So you might as well just not play. You might as well just do it yourself. Okay. Candace, to wake up every day at the same time. I love that. I love that. What are you going to do to set yourself up for success on that? I'm back on track with my habit stack. What does that even look like? And I, I don't know what your name is because you need to change your Instagram handle to your first and last name so we can have a conversation. But I would love to know what get back on track with my habit stacker even looks like. What does that even mean? Consistent morning routine. Also, um, fit but loves wine. You, that needs to be your first and last name. Okay. This, we are not a dating app here. <laughs> it's your first, I mean, it could be, but it's not. Um, first and last name, and also, what does that mean? Consistent morning routine. Hit success club. Work for a better life. But what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Also, your Instagram handle needs to be your first and last name. <laughs> we have new members to the Energize Life family, which I'm obsessed with. So we need some, we need some changing. Post daily, okay? Brie, I love that. What are you going to do to make sure that that happens? Brenna says, become a diamond coach. Katie says, connect with 10 people per day. To make intentional memories every day. Today marks 50 days until I'm 50. What does that mean, Andrea? What does, mean, what does to make intentional memories each day? How are you going to do that? To wake up every day at 5.10. 5.10. You know what, Patty? I love the, the sentence that you put after that. I am slaying my days when I get up at that hour. So what I like about that, Patty, is you've set the intention to wake up every day at 5 a.m., because you have noticed that when you do, you feel better. You feel better. So there's a self-awareness piece there and I believe self-awareness is the key to success. Follow my meal plan. I don't know what crush lift more means. What does that mean? What does that look like to you? I don't play with goals, okay? The whole live a healthier life, work towards my goals. Mm -mm. No, no. To add a walk into my daily routine. Shelly, that is so specific and beautiful. I love it. What I also love is that you didn't um, put, like, to add a 25-mile walk. No, you're like, I'm going to walk every day. There we go. Like, I love that. It's not so precious about the time and the length. It's just simply, I'm going to walk every single day. I love that so much. Go to bed at 9.45. Maria, that is hard, and I applaud you. Maria, please keep us posted on how you're doing with bedtime. I find bedtime harder than morning time. And that's just me. I find it harder to, to get my lights off at a very consistent time, even though I would love to. I find that harder than the wake-up time. So, Maria, please keep us informed on that. Love that. Okay, so we have some... We have some pretty specific goals. Okay. So in my notes this morning, I was writing this down. I was kind of journaling a little bit this morning with some thoughts to bring to you because just from what I've been immersing myself, because that's kind of what I do in Energize Life, is I immerse myself with stuff and then I kind of bring it to you and share and we have conversations around it, right? And so what has been coming through for me 
most recently in my own personal development and what I've been listening to and the vibe that I've been feeling. So I think on Saturday, I referenced the movie Soul Surfer, which I'm shocked and disappointed in how many of you have not watched that movie. I just have to say, it's a little bit disappointing. I hope you watched it over the weekend. The reason why I reference that is because there's a moment in the movie where she, Bethany Hamilton, puts her her hands like this kind of on the ocean and she feels the vibe of the ocean. And as I said earlier, one of my spiritual giftings is intuition. It's, it, it, we call it a spidey sense in our house. Like mom has spidey sense because it's, it can be a little scary sometimes. And I don't push it. I, I used to kind of push it down or kind of ignore it and I don't anymore. And the more I lean into it, the more highly developed it becomes. I might be able to even move objects with my mind at some point. No, kidding. I reference this movie because this is what I feel like I've been doing. Like on the energetic currents of, of where we are right now. And through my personal development, through the speakers I heard at Summit, just through what is coming up for me right now, the words that I keep hearing for August, because August today's August 1st, today's August 1st, is make a decision. That's sort of the, the vibe and the, the words that I keep hearing. Make a decision. Make a decision. And some of that, I think, comes from some of these the conversations I've been having with some of my newer, amazing coaches with, oh, I've been talking to, especially since Summit, I've been talking to a lot of coaches in the Team Beachbody world, a lot, and which I love. Like, any time that I can download my 14 years of experience into someone and help them shorten their learning curve, I'm here for that. And I've been talking to a lot of coaches, and over my 14 years, not just now, but over my 14 years, and especially now, after the past two and a half years, I feel like there's this vibe where people need to make a decision. People need to make a decision. Let me make sure that that's gone. And now, what do I mean by that? Let me see if I can explain. And I'm going to use the Team Beachbody business as an example because that's the world in which I live. And if it, this is not the world in which you live, that is fine. Hello. What, what do you think? I'm on Instagram and only Team Beachbody coaches can be on here with me? No, that's dumb. Apply it to any of your situations, okay? There's a moment in a successful coach's journey. And it will happen several times throughout their journey if you're, if you're in it. If you're in it. There will be moments in a successful coach's journey. So I would even swap out that word. There are moments in a successful entrepreneur's journey. There's, there, there are these moments where you get a little sick of yourself. Okay? You get a little sick of not showing up at the level that you can. You get a little sick of not tapping into your potential and your possibility. You get really sick of your excuses. You get really sick of the resistance that you're putting up to the growth and the uncomfortableness. You just get sick of yourself. There is a moment, I see it in coaching, I have, I have experienced it myself multiple times in my coaching journey where you've been resisting change, resisting growth, you've been putting up excuses even if it feels like you're doing the work you've been resisting it i'm doing the work i'm but i'm doing all the work and i'm doing the work except this happened and this happened and this happened but watch me do this but i'm doing the work to do that and you're just sick of it and you finally like you like you almost helicopter up and you're like what the actual f am i doing and i'm sick of myself right now and I really mean this in the best possible way, because when you get to that point, you have a decision to make. That's why August is important. You're either going to take action and do it and make a decision, or you're gonna sit in the suck and continue to be sick of yourself and go, guys, I wonder what's, why can't, why is everyone else succeeding except me? Why is everyone else hitting Success Club except me? 
you could sit over there. Some some coaches in the Team Beach Buddy space, some entrepreneurs, even even think of parenting. Like even parents, you'll just you'll sit over here and go, "Why is my child? Why can't they?" Blah blah blah. Or you literally make a decision, and I'm going to tell you, it is a it, it's like a full body experience when you make the decision that you are going to do X, Y, Z, whatever it is, and it's connected to your bigger dreams and your bigger goals, for most of us, when you truly, that that full body, like literally from your gut, like you are just sick of yourself and you make the decision and it is full body. There is, you completely eliminated any option that's not that. It's amazing what we can make happen. Now, why do we have to get our backs up against the wall? Why do we have to get sick of ourselves? I don't know. I think it's just part of the human experience sometimes. But I feel like this is August. This is what I'm feeling in the water. This is what's been coming through for me in my personal development. That this is this month where people are sick of themselves. They're sick of waiting to kind of see what's going to happen next. Newsflash, nobody knows. So what are you waiting on? We've been living in uncertainty for two and a half years. Do you know what the first year of the pandemic was? The first year of the pandemic was when you go to an airport and you have a flight to leave and the flight gets delayed and you're like, okay, whatever. And then you go to board, but then it gets delayed again. Okay. And then you go to board and it gets delayed again. And that delay and that delay. And you're like, just freaking make a decision and cancel the flight. That's what we were living in for probably two years. Like, can you just cancel the flight and let's all move on? Well, guess what? Flight's been canceled. You're on a new flight. You get to fly where you want to go now. Okay? That's the decision that we're making. That's the opportunity that you have. That flight back there was canceled. Two and a half years. That flight was canceled. We're on a new flight now. And you get to decide the path and where you're navigating with this flight. But you have to make the decision to do it. Because the people that are still waiting for that flight, the people that are back there going, why is it, is it gonna cancel? Or what's, is it delayed? What's happening? They're gonna be sitting there two or three years from now. That could be any one of us unless we make a decision. Are you going to make a decision? Are you going to get that full body, like from your gut decision to move forward into this new month and stop waiting on if your flight's going to be canceled? The flight was canceled. Get on a new flight. Okay? Get on a new flight. Get your bags off the plane. Get on the new plane and let's freaking go. Because you've got a couple choices here. Life is going to have hard moments, hard seasons, hard challenges. Okay, that's the human experience, <laughs> okay? This whole, I just, I, you know, it's just hard, it's just hard. Your heart's not special. Everyone has hard. Everyone has hard. Everyone had hard. Everyone will have hard again. And here's what's beautiful about the last two and a half years. Your toolbox is now so full of incredible tools to deal with hard that everything that comes for you from now on is a piece of cake because you've already dealt with a freaking global pandemic. Do you understand that? You will have hard seasons and moments in the future. Welcome to being a human being on this planet. You're going to have hard. Everyone's going to have hard. Your heart's not special. We want to help you navigate through that hard, but your heart's not special. And you've got a couple choices here, right? You can choose the hard of complacency and resistance because I see so many coaches resisting the things that they need to do. So many entrepreneurs, so many women resisting the things that they need to do and they get complacent and there's no urgency in their goals. Y'all, we don't get this time back. It's August 1st, like yesterday was January 1st. And here we are on August 1st. You're not getting this time back. You're not, we're not in a lockdown anymore, okay? You can't just sit around and go, well, I don't have anything else to do. Yes, you do, yes, you do. 
You can choose the heart of complacency or resistance. This is kind of where you get really sick of yourself. Or you can choose the heart of growth and uncomfortableness. Because growth is uncomfortable. It's like growing pains in a kid, right? It's like picking up heavier weights. Like, listen to me. If I could tell you how sore my biceps are right now, like, are you kidding me? Because I picked up heavier weights yesterday. It was super uncomfortable when I was doing it. And that's what causes growth. So we can choose this hard of resistance and complacency. Or you can choose your hard of growth and uncomfortableness. And then you have to ask yourself the question, what's going to get me closer to the life that I want to create? What's going to get me closer? Is me resisting the work I need to do, resisting the growth I need to have, resisting, 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 putting up excuses and resistance, and then just sitting and being complacent and going, my life's okay. I'm just grateful for what I have. Is this going to get you closer to the life that you want to create? Because let me tell you something. The years that I spent resisting what I needed to do to grow were years I could have been here and I wasn't because I was resisting and I was putting up excuses and I was like, why is everyone else having success except me? If someone would just tell me exactly what to do. I spent years doing that. I spent years resisting. I'm not complacent, but I spent years resisting. That was the hard that I was choosing. If someone would just tell me exactly what to do, why is everyone else having success? Let me compete with this woman and compare myself with this woman. There's not enough seats at the table. Da, da, da. All that time, I could have been here. And I was choosing the hard of resistance. And when you make the shift and you choose the hard of growth and the hard of uncomfortableness, and I will say, in my defense, I choose the heart of growth, but I, uh, the heart, I do choose to grow, but dang, I spent a lot of time resisting. So I would grow and then I resist. And then I'd grow a little more and then I'd resist. And then I'd grow a little more and then I'd resist. And I'm like, what? I could have been here. I could have been here. Because instead of just leaning into the growth, I was also leaning into the resistance. Part of the human experience. Part of my journey. It is what it is. I went through that journey so I could be here to share with you. Don't do it. Don't do it. It is time to raise our ambition. It is time to raise our joy. It is time to raise our ambition. It is time to raise our joy. It is time to make a choice. Today is August 1st. What's going to happen in these next 31 days? The human beings that choose to lean into growth and uncomfortable, get rid of complacency and resistance, to lean into growth and uncomfortableness who make literally this full body decision to go all in on their goals and dreams. When we have a conversation on September 1st, your life will be different, 100%. The human beings who sit with complacency, resistance, who come up with excuses as to why they can't do it, who get distracted and scroll on social media more than do the work, who don't get up and have a morning routine, who don't lean into community, who just don't, their life will be exactly the same on September 1st as it is today. The beautiful thing about that is it's a choice that we can all make. None of this takes talent. None of it takes brains. None of it takes exceptional creativity or anything else. It simply takes a decision. And there's no more perfect day than the first day of a week and the first day of a month. There's a reason why they've combined because today you get to make that decision. So I am here to encourage you to make a decision. Human beings want to be around other human beings who are on fire for what they do and what they are about and the life they are creating. And if you are a kind of sort of person and you're trying to build a business, would you want to do business with someone who's a kind of sort of person? Because chances are your clientele, they got kind of sort of dialed in. They want to be around someone who's on a mission. Are you on a mission? Are you on fire for life? Can you make a decision today to get on a new plane, fly a new route, 
and get closer to your goals and dreams. So when we have this conversation on September 1st, your life is different. Any day can be the day you make a new decision, a different decision. Any day can be your day one. There's no more perfect day than a literal, actual day one of a new month. So that's my encouragement for you today. Make a freaking decision and then go all in. Because what's the worst that can happen? You make progress, flight, I don't even know what the name of this flight is gonna be. Flight 2022, boarding now, get on, let's go. If this helped you, if this encouraged you in any way, let me know. You always, you know that I love, I love to know if our conversations are helpful at all. And um, I just want, I just want you to know that I really, I value the time that you share with me. Like I don't take it lightly. The fact that you share a little bit of your day with me, that we get to wake up to the sunrise this morning, that we get to wake up the sunrise every single morning, that we get to do this together. It means so much to me. And um, I really think it is my life's purpose to shorten your learning curve, to help you step into your power, to, to believe in you when you don't believe in yourself and to help you understand that you barely, barely scratch the surface of your greatness. And this world will be changed by women. I believe that to my bone, but it'll be changed by women who step into their power and who make a decision. Today's a perfect day for that. So let's go get them. August can be great if you make it so. Happy August.